Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial episode. Silent Knight here, as always. And today I'm going to show you how to use level emitters and how to automate your ore processing using an ME system. Sounds pretty fun, so we're going to go ahead and get right to it. First, I'm going to show you how to use level emitters. Now, level emitters are pretty interesting um, little devices. I'm going to grab an ME interface. Uh, they're very little interesting devices. I'm going to run a little cable out just from the back of one of my systems and throw a level emitter on it. Now what this is going to do is this is an actual redstone torch and this is going to emanate uh, emanate or not emanate redstone dependent on what your settings are per se. Like whatever um, like whatever setting you have it set to. So like, um, okay, so first of all I want to put an item in here. So we'll just do a uh, crafting bench. So what this is going to do, well, now what this emitter is currently saying is if um, well, emit le emit redstone when levels are above the limit. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to emit redstone whenever there's more than one crafting bench in the system. Now, say we want to boost this up. So now we say 64. So now we want this to only emit a redstone signal when there's above 64 crafting tables inside of our ME system. You can see in the ME system that why is that? What is that? Okay. Anywho, so you'll see that there's only 50 crafting tables in here, so it's not emitting. So now if we were to throw 67 in there, all of a sudden it starts emitting again because there's now above 64 in the um, system. So it will start emitting. Uh, so now this is really useful for automations and keeping, like I said, say, a certain amount of items in stock at all times. Uh, to do that, we're going to go ahead and do a... Uh, an export bus... Like so. This no big deal. All right, so we're gonna throw an export bus here, and then we need to connect that to the system, like so. So what this is gonna do is now we're gonna say, so now we'll, okay, basically we'll, let's we're gonna set this up so it'll keep at least 64 crafting tables in the system at all times. So we're gonna switch this. You can change this between uh, emit when levels are below and level emit when levels are above. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna some, we're gonna have it emit a light when it's a when it's below. 64 is a limit. So when there's when it's below 64 in the hair, it'll emit redstone light. For some reason, it's being really buggy. Um, I've had this issue before where sometimes it won't update. There, it takes sometimes it I don't know if it's like a delayed tick or what, but it bugs the crap. But it does work. So uh, now it'll emit when they are below 64. But since we're above 64, it will not emanate or give redstone signal. We want then we want to turn the fuzzy. Uh, this is an export bus. What this allows us to do is it'll export a certain amount of items or export items and stuff from the ME system uh, into a inventory of whatever. This has an inventory um, here. So you can use this as an export. So we want to do this, activate. When do we want this active? Do we want this active without a pulse, with a signal, once per pulse, or um, always active? We want to do this with signal. We only want this to auto craft for us when there is a signal. Now we're going to put, um, we're going to tell it to have crafting table inside. This is what it's going to move. And if it has a signal, it's going to move single item crafting table into this ME interface. Which, at this point, it is almost pointless because, uh, well, it's not going to really do anything. ME interfaces are actually, I don't know if I ever explained them in a prior episode. I'm going to reconnect that. It's, it's really, they're, they're really redundant because it's swinging around. But um, ME interfaces, if anything ever hits the exported items area, it'll automatically send it back to the system. So you'll see here all of a sudden my tanks are in the system. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch this from move single item to from the move stack items to move single item craft to always craft item. So anytime there is an active signal in the export bus, it'll try to craft and uh, uh, try to craft a crafting table and then send it into the inventory. Which the inventory is going to be inventory is going to be the ME interface, and when it hits the inventory of exported items, it's just going to shoot it back to the system. So, we're going to go ahead and see if this will work. We're going to have to put some wood in there. Actually, no, wait, actually, it's good, actually. So, if I take half this stack, you should, this should light up. This should start auto-crafting and setting crafting tables into the system. You can see it's automatically crafting crafting tables using the oak wood, which turns into planks. You guys remember from the last episode, it can seek out its own items backwards up the tree of crafting, figure it out, craft it backwards, and then shoot it out. So what it's doing right now is it's going to craft up to 64, and when it hits 64, um, when it hits 64, this should stop emitting, because it's only supposed to emit more below, well, I guess below 63 would probably be smarter. And all of a sudden, see, as soon as it got 
as soon as we got above 64, this delit, stopping the auto crafting, and then boom, 64. I'm gonna take another half stack out of here. Actually, it probably ran out of wood too, so it's probably not the best indicator. But you guys get the idea. It did finish when it was supposed to finish. So that's pretty much auto crafting. You you can you need to set up a nice little level emitter to to, to emit whenever, wh however, whatever you want to emit at, like you know this or that level, this or that level. Um, put up an export. Fuzzy, uh, fuzzy or precision don't really matter in this casing, um, since we're not really worrying with data values or any other um, minimal values. We're doing it straight with the actual item and the item ID itself. So you can use this. Activate with signal. Always craft item. Put a crafting table in there. Hook it up just straight to an ME interface, and it'll shoot it right back. Uh, you can do this with any item. Blah 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 blah. All right, so that's that. So now I'm going to show you guys how to auto craft using this system, which is pretty much more or less the same kind of concept. We'll go ahead and grab a redstone energy conduit. We'll need to put those under. This is just for powering a system. So we do um, grab a pulverizer quick and a powered furnace and So, let's do that. that this. We're going to grab a Amy interface. I'll put for that. This will just route back to the system. And, okay. So, the uh, fun thing with Amy systems is you can have these cables coming out of anything that is part of the, 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 the AE multi block, which is really, really handy. Um, go ahead and put a fuzzy bus. We're going to put a, an export bus on the input import line of a pulverizer. Now what we're going to do is have it automatically um, so once it craft, it's pretty much standard pulverizer stuff insert here, export items there, accept it here, cook it there. Now it's going to export from the pulp from a powered furnace into the ME interface which if you remember if it, as soon as it exports into the ME interface it will just send it back to the system. So we want to go ahead and set this to work appropriately so we'll go ahead and put all this away like so. Then we'll go ahead and say grab um, uh, we'll just type in ore, let's just grab some gold ore, iron ore, I don't know, what else can we process here? Um, wait a tick, why is it silver or not? We'll have to look at that later. Um, that's going to be processed, tin ore. Why oh, none of my ores working? None of these are working in my texture pack. Sfax, what are you doing to me, bro? Alright, so whatever, either way, this is what you're going to do. Uh, I'm just going to right-click at this. Uh, put in all the ores you want here, and then always active. Move single item, move stack. If you want to move it stacks at a time, you can move stacks at a time. I usually use single item because, I don't know, I just prefer it that way. All right, so now pretty much it, what this is going to do is it's always going to, um, always active, and it's always going to try to move these ores in priority of this one to this one to this one to this one to this one. It's going to try to move these in order. Um, into the pulverizer from the equipment. Mm. So as you have ore coming into the system, well, I'll just do this, you'll see all of a sudden it's starting to shoot these out into the pulverizer. Pulverizer is going to mm. pulverize, then gold power furnace is going to cook it, and then all of a sudden, boom, there's a gold ingot. And this is pretty much just going to do any time it gets ore into the system, so if you're feeding like a quarry or something directly into their system, it's going to automatically, um, mm. automatically start pumping in items. Or it'll automatically start sending it to your system to get cooked and, mm. and pulverized and yada yada yada. You can set up multiple of these in a chain too. It doesn't really matter. You could probably put more pulverizer, like pulverizer, pulverizer, you know, powered furnace, powered furnace, and then, you know, export bus, export bus, interface, interface. And this would probably work as well, just as simply. And all this would really do, and you gotta supply power now, obviously, but what this will do is it'll just speed up the processing of all your ore. Um, or you could say you want this to process iron, this to process gold, or, you know, whatever, however you want to do it. That's pretty much the step-by-step. -step. So, uh, yeah, video's getting a little long, so I think we'll cut it here. Hope you guys a little learned a little something. Uh, level emitters and automated craft, uh, count crafting and automated processing ore via ME systems. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, heard you learned a little something, and until the next episode, guys, you guys take her easy. Giggity.